I'm Crystal Rose. This is Comfy Soul. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to do your reading. We're going to start with the Light Seer's Tarot and we're going to finish with um, The Answer is Simple by Sonia Choquette. That's how I'm going to give you some advice. So let me shuffle up here. The first card that I'm pulling is going to be your situation and then we'll do a deep dive on that. Okay. Oops, something flew out already. What do we got? King of Pentacles. Somebody's digging their coin, bossing up at home. Uh, somebody who feels stable, in charge of maybe their business, in charge of the house. They're well-grounded, okay? Stable, secure, confident, masculine. What else, Libra? King of your domain. Man and dog in perfect home. Tell me what else. Okay, I see a passion energy, I see adventure, and then I see sadness in money. You're only halfway there. And what else? Fantasy land, choices and decisions. Okay, here's what sucks so far. Because that's a whole lot going on. Here you are, a stable person with all the coin in the world having a great time, enjoying a perfect home. It's perfect. Look around. Okay. You're very content. Very, very content. Doing better than most, right? And yet here you are looking for a sense of passion and adventure. I want to do something. Got to do something with my energy. Okay. Which is great. But then you're not happy. I want more money. I only have half the money I want. I am sad about not having enough money and you're locking yourself behind a door because fantasy land and choices. I'm never satisfied. I want more. I want more. I want more. I'm going to tell you, it doesn't matter how much more money you get. It's not going to make you happy because you're good now. You are so good now and you're not happy. You're looking for something else. This is, this is, um, distracted energy. This is the energy of people that get into addictions. I don't have enough. I'm not happy. I'm not emotionally fulfilled. Let's try heroin. This could get you into trouble. Okay. Because you're, you're just hoarding money. Why are you doing that? Because what you really want is to be emotionally fulfilled. And you're like, how can I get that? You're not going to be emotionally fulfilled by looking for more, more money when you're already good. That's not the answer. So what is the answer? What's going to help Libra enjoy their position more? What's going to fulfill their heart, their passions? Why are they in fantasy land? Too many choices and options. You refuse to budge. Why are you putting blinders on? What is this about? Are you hoarding money and not making a love offer to someone? Do you have bitches and all area codes and you're like, no, I'm going to keep my coin. Thanks. But it's making you sad because you're not sharing love. I want passion and adventure, but I don't want to be committal. Tell me what you're avoiding because you're at a standstill. You got blinders on. You've literally covered your own eyes. Oh my God, can I make this shit up? Remember this? The card I just pulled with your blindfold on? Look at this. Tell me there's not a blindfold on again looking in the mirror. I refuse to look at myself. I don't want to look at my problem. I'm going to look up for some other fantasy that's going to fix my life. No amount of money in the world is going to make you happy. It's not, it's not where your happiness is. It's in your shadow work. All right. What is this unfulfillment, this eight of swords, this thing you won't look at? What is this thing you refuse to acknowledge? What is it? Romance, love, sharing real feelings. Because you're not sharing feelings, you're looking for things outside of your situation to make you emotionally fulfilled, and it's never going to happen. You need to share romantic feelings with that one person right in front of your face. It's the only thing that's ever going to make you feel fulfilled and loved is by telling that person that you love them. That's it.
So you have to make a choice. You might be playing the field. You might have two people on your arm. You're trying to balance. Oh, I'm going to be uh, dating you and seeing you. And I just want to be commitment free and do my own thing. And Spirit's asking you to choose one direction and go there and give it your whole heart. Stop scattering your energy amongst different things that are quick, temporary fixes for your emotional needs. Never make you happy. It's like, okay, so Spirit's showing me, you, Libra, walking through a county fair. And there's all these amazing foods and all these fun, fun rides. And you've got a bracelet. You've paid for everything. And you can go eat everything and ride everywhere. And you indulge, 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 indulge. And on your way back home, the only thing you have is a bellyache. Because you left with nothing of substance. Maybe you got a teddy bear, but you didn't leave with that person on your arm because you didn't share it with anybody. Do you understand? You indulged, 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 indulged until it freaking killed you. What choice do you have to make besides sharing your feelings and really focusing on love? Really opening your heart and being vulnerable, right? Besides focusing on money and thinking that's going to make you happy, what can you do? What is this choice you have to make that will bring you happiness? Eight of Pentacles, something fulfilling to your mind and your heart. This looks like a business. I want to be purposeful. I want to have a purpose in my life. Great. Choose someone to share that love with. And I'm not talking just romantically. This doesn't have to be that you're in a relationship. You might be, and if that's the case, start there. But if you're not, this is doing something that is personally fulfilling, that feels purposeful in your life. Starting that business. Becoming a counselor. Becoming a coach. Um, writing that book. Telling your story that's going to change people's lives. And it's going to make you money. But it's sharing all those phases that you've been through. It's sharing your life. It's sharing your adventure and doing something with it. Not just, oh, I did this and I'm never going to tell anyone and I'm never going to share it. And it's never going to have any meaning whatsoever because I hide my feelings. On one hand, they're looking at cups. This is what would be emotionally fulfilling to me versus what knowledge can I gain and, and how smart can I be? It's not smarts that are going to make you happy. It's sharing emotional fulfillment. What can you do with your time and your energy that is focused on creating something passionate, purposeful? This is a life purpose. Okay? And if your purpose is to make people happy, make them happy. If you need to make someone feel loved, make them feel loved. If you have wisdom to share, share it. But do something, per, like give to society. You're not just here to make money and, and, and fulfill yourself with everything at the fair. Life is about sharing emotions. That's what's missing. And you're breaking your head. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to look at it. That's, that just seems unsafe to share my feelings. I'm not going to, I don't want to do that. Five of Swords energy. You're fighting yourself. You're fighting yourself. Yep, because destiny is calling you out. The world is moving around you and there is so much luck and fortune and money in front of you. And you're not going after it. Your business would be hugely successful. This romance could be amazingly connected. And you're like, no, nope, I'm going to stay where it's safe. It's not safe because you're miserable and you're, you're going broke. Spending money trying to make yourself emotionally happy. The, the destiny is moving you forward. There is luck here. And you do have good luck. Things easily come to you all the time. You get rescued, stuff shows up, you get freebies, and you're not appreciating it. What else? The emperor. This is a boss. 
This is really owning your sense of security, owning a business, doing something purposeful, being a leader, being in charge. Do something other than just sitting back and indulging and indulging and indulging. You understand? Let's get you... Um, you know what? I'm going to go to the Life Purpose Oracle by Doreen Virtue. And let's just see what you can do that would be purposeful. I want spirit to show me what your soul would be really fulfilled doing. But honestly, I'm being called, I'm looking at this again, the emperor. See that chess piece? It's a giant chess piece. They're asking you, make a move. Make a move and do something intentional. Because you, you look for these little tiny pills to fix you and make you feel better without staying on one path and creating something. Focus on one path and create that one thing that you want in your life and stick with it. Don't be like, oh, I spent 10 minutes on it. It's not going to happen or I'm not happy or I'm bored. Nothing that's worthwhile comes easy. Do the work. Make the effort. Be the boss. How can you boss up? Thank you, spirit. I'll give it one good shuffle, and then I will pull. What can you do that is purposeful in your life? <sighs> Working with flowers, being grounded, bringing blessings, being purposeful, being grounded. You're completely ungrounded, first of all. Because you're starting with this seven of wands energy, which is passion, adventure, run around. What are my options? What are my choices? They're like, shut down, sh sit down and shut up. Ground yourself. Sit outside, put your feet in the grass and appreciate what's around you. Number one, gratitude. Be grateful and grounded. Next, let's, let's hug Libra into purpose. Let's give them something that's emotionally fulfilling because I know how much it hurts to be emotionally unfulfilled, okay? Study. Telling you you have a purpose. There's something you could learn that you would be really good at. Do a deep dive in that and, and make it happen. Teach other people how to ground once you've learned, oh, I can do a grounding meditation. I can stick my feet in the grass. I can talk to the birds in the backyard. And the wisdom comes from them. They talk back. They show you things. It is fulfilling to look at the birds. <laughs> right? There's definitely something that you're interested in that you're too lazy to continue on the path on. And if it makes you feel better to continue, study, research. How can I get started on this, right? Infinite abundance. There's so much money there by you creating a business, doing your own thing. And if you feel unprepared, get just prepare and it will start to show up for you. There's a lot of happy there. Money and emotional happiness. And connections, literally everything the world has to offer. What does it say at the bottom? You're fully supported as you devote yourself to this divine, to your divine life purpose. You're unfulfilled because you're not serving your life purpose. You're not sharing love and money with people around you. Share, share what you're enjoying with other people. Creative expression. You need to be creative. Painting, drawing. Get back to that. Writing a book. Sharing your thoughts. Poetry. Create. Where are you creative? What things did you do when you were younger that were creative expressions of you? You can do those things with a purpose and teach people and make money. Doing what you love to do for fun. Right? You could fall into money by accident. By having fun with what you're good at. Creatively. I'm hearing for some of you, it's not something you create hands-on, but it's your ideas because you're cerebral. You think. Do consulting. Do coaching. Help people work through their ideas. Ask them questions. How did you feel when this happened? What could you do differently to get out of that feeling? If you're feeling unfulfilled, 
what used to be fulfilling for you that you haven't done in a long time? And these are questions you can even, you know, when you coach somebody, you get these questions answered back for you, you know? Energy healing. You're showing people how you're, you need to heal your own energy by being creative. You just have nowhere to put your passion and your adventure. You have all this anxious energy that's being spent on stupid things and you have nothing to show for it because you're emotionally unfulfilled. The stuff isn't making you happy. Get into your inner child. Go talk to other people. Connect with them on an emotional level. Be a little kid. Have fun and play. Why so serious? And build. Build a school. Start teaching. Help people with their inner child. Help them feel emotionally fulfilled as you are learning to fulfill yourself. That, and the, and the crazy part is, you don't need it for money. You're totally fine. You don't need it because you need recognition or for people to pay attention to you, although that will happen. And that is something that you enjoy and need. You want people to honor you and pay attention to you and say, you're beautiful, Libra. That's amazing, Libra. You're so smart, Libra. But the only way you're going to get it is through building something that allows them to do that for you. You're not just going to get praise for no reason, right? Build a school, build a business, build trust, build Build a business of sensitivity. Get into your feelings. I swear to you, the only thing that's going to make you happy is getting into your feelings. I swear to you. All right. I mean, really, come on. Let's get you some advice from the answer is simple. Don't sweat the small stuff. You worry about literally everything and you make a mountain out of a molehill. It's not, it's not, nothing is... The only reason you're sweating all these little things is because you have way too much energy that you're doing nothing with, that you will hyper-focus on a problem and blow it up to be something humongously, like you'll, you'll make it all the problems and it's really not that big of a deal. If it's not ruining your life or making you like whip your head around and say, I need to fix this, it's not an emergency and you don't need to worry about it. You take one little thing that goes wrong and you blow it up to make it the worst, craziest thing happening in the world. I'm going to suggest to you to stop watching the news while you get your head straight. Because the news is filled with salacious, crazy stories that make you think the world is falling apart and everything's bad. Because you have nothing else to do with your energy, you're feeding into that story over and over and over again. Everything's shitty. Why should I ever start? You see what I'm saying? Don't sweat the small stuff. What else? What else? Clear the fog. See that fogginess? You got to see through the fog. That's not real. It's not true. On the other side of that fog, you could be like, look at that monster. There's a monster coming to eat me. It's going to eat the dog. And it's literally just like your new best friend that's coming in that wants to hand you money and a fun adventure. Like, open your eyes. Take the blindfold off. Look around at how beautiful the world is. It's just your perspective because you won't open up your feelings. You want a good partner? Open up your feelings. Reach out. You first. You need to reach out first. Stop making people come to you and then they have to beg for your time, your energy, and your attention. Open your heart up. Tell them beautiful things. Don't just be flirty. Be real. I adore this about you. I really respect this about you. I honor you. I see this. I see who you are. Not, hey, you look really sexy. Smack on the ass. You know what I mean? Be real. Be deep. Be a deep person. And create. Be creative. Do something purposeful and you will be so, so happy. All right. I'm going to leave it there. If you like a personal reading and to, like do a deeper dive into your life purpose and what more you could do with that, Please come individually because everybody's got their own little thing. Um, you can find me at ComfySoul.com. Book a private reading there. That'll keep you away from spammers and scammers if you just book on the website. I so appreciate you being here. Thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you do something beautiful with this amazing energy you have, this beautiful creative mind. You're the most creative people in the entire Zodiac. Make something cool happen, okay? Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.